friends and welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now the resin jewelry project we're going to be tackling today is going to be a chain 3D rose bracelet. Now we're going to be making 3D by taking two resin beads and then putting a picture of a rose in between, gluing them together to make a sphere. So let's get right into it you guys because I'm very excited to try a new technique. First off, you're going to need some plain paper, you'll need a sheet of cardboard, some clear liquid glue, a pencil and a black fine tip marker. You'll also need some colorful markers, some pencil crayons, a glue stick, pliers and a wire cutter. You'll also need a small paintbrush, some thin chain of your choice, And lastly, some clasps. First thing you want to do is find something the same size as the sphere that you're going to make and then trace it on a piece of paper. Next step is to lightly draw out your picture. The next step is to lightly color it in with your pencil crayons. Just go over top of it with your markers. Now it's time just to cut out your little drawing. Now to make this picture a little bit stronger, we're just going to be gluing it on the sheet of cardboard and then cutting it out. Now it's time to lock in those colors with some liquid glue top coat. And the final step to this portion is just drawing another flower and gluing it onto the back of this one. And then you're done with your insert. Get yourself a mixing container with measures on the side. Keep your hands protected with some disposable gloves, a small torch for those bubbles, some disposable stir sticks, of course the resin and hardener, your silicone mold, my favorite, some opal flakes, and last but not least, a little smooth. Grab that resin and pour one part into your mixing container. Now just get your hardener and pour an equal part into the same mixing container. Hit start on that three minute timer and then mix your mixture very slowly to avoid any excess bubbles. Now that our mixture is all ready, it is finally time to put those amazing opal flakes into our mixture and of course, slowly mix them in. Now make sure you find the molds that match the same size of that sphere that we traced earlier and pour your resin into those. Now just wait 10 more minutes and then it's finally time to debubble. All right, you guys, the last step in this portion of the project is just to debubble those guys. Now just wait 72 hours for them to fully set. Alright you guys, so it's been a few days and these beads are finally ready to come out. So I'm just going to pop one out and show you guys what they look like. Oh. It's really pretty with the opal and the shine. 
Now I'm just gonna take two of these types of beads and put them together with the rows on the inside and add a chain and we are finally done. So I'll be right back to show you guys the final product. All right, you guys, so here it is. I think it turned out so cute. I put a little bit of twine around the center, just kind of hide the line a little bit. And I don't know, I just really like the look of twine on jewelry for some reason. Anyways, but here it is. The, the only downside, unfortunately and surprisingly for me, is actually there is too much oval. To the point that you can almost not see the flower, but you still can. It's just kind of, you know obscures the view a little bit more than I kind of wanted. What I don't like about it is I think this bead may be a little bit too big if I'm not gonna put any other charms. If you add a few little more charms on here, I think it would kind of balance out the bracelet a little bit more. But overall, I really like the technique of the sphere. It just looks, I think, super cool having two little flowers on there. I think it's so adorable. But please don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. It's really important that I know you guys are coming back and wanting to see more. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to check out my last week's video, which was an ankle bracelet with an edgy twist. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got your own little inspiration and make your own bracelet. I hope you guys all have a really good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next week.